Okay, happy Friday everybody. Welcome to the weight room for today. Um, you should have just finished your exercise piece of today's assignment. Um, and you got a little card from me that looks like this. Your name should be at the top and then uh, you should have written down your resting heart rate. The next two are blank. So where it says your <clears throat> moderate target heart rate zone, that's still blank. Vigorous target heart rate zone, that is still blank. But you should have written down your heart rate at the one minute mark, the two minute mark, five, 10, 12 minute mark, and then written down your cool down numbers. So that should have been completed already. You need that for your quiz, but you need to watch this video first before you do your quiz, okay? We're not getting out our notebooks today. Um, you should have gotten a half sheet of paper from me that looks like this. You have two warm-up questions and those are going to go on the back of this paper. So you're gonna fill out the two warm-up questions right here, so answer one, answer two on this. This is our notes part of today, um, and there is no wrap-up. So this is gonna be your entire thing. You will turn this in to me when you leave. You will use both of these pieces of paper for your quiz today. Okay, so once you're done with this video, you're going on to take the quiz. Okay, so let's get started with our warm-up questions. So if you're looking here, the first warm-up question says, why do you think it's important to know your target heart rate when exercising? The second one says, when your heart rate recovers quickly after exercise, what does that say about your fitness levels? Okay, so kind of think about those two questions. Um, we already defined, we already defined the words uh, target heart rate, resting heart rate, and recovery heart rate. These are big words and they're important words they are gonna be on several of your quizzes and tests coming up towards the end of the semester. If you did not define those words already, when we get back to health on Monday, you need to get those three words defined in your notebook somewhere because they're going to be on all of your tests and quizzes, okay? I'm gonna talk about them a little bit today um, in order to help you answer those warm-up questions and to help you understand them a little bit better um, and because that's obviously what we worked on with our um, exercising today okay so obviously the definition for target heart rate is the heart rate you should aim for during exercise so it lets you know that you are improving the five components of fitness all right so if you're not getting your heart rate up when you are exercising into your target heart rate zone which is what we're going to figure out in just a little bit then you are not getting your um, heart rate up enough to improve your levels of fitness okay um, you're improving your cardiovascular endurance when you're getting into the vigorous heart rate zone. When you're in the moderate heart rate zone, you're working more on endurance and muscular endurance um, and, and cardiovascular endurance. Muscular strength, your heart rate's going to be high in the vigorous zone. Flexibility, it's going to be a little bit lower in your moderate zone. But if it's not in a zone, if it's not in a target heart rate zone, then you're not improving your component of fitness. Okay, so your target is your aim, it's your goal, it's where you feel like you should get when you're exercising. If you're not getting there when you exercise, you are not improving your fitness levels. You're not making your heart any stronger, okay? Resting heart rate. Your resting heart rate is the number of time your heart beats in one minute while at rest, meaning doing absolutely nothing. So when you ask the definition of this, resting heart rate, it's how many times your heart beats in one minute while at rest. All of that needs to be in there. How many times your heart beats in one minute while at rest? Normal for someone your age is between 60 and 90 beats per minute, okay? The lower your resting heart rate, the stronger your heart is, okay? So before we got started today um, on our exercise, I had you measure your resting heart rate and we wrote that down on your sheet right here, okay? Um, now granted, they might not all be perfect and you might have been doing something before you came in here and many things can make your resting heart rate higher, like walking will make your heart rate higher, eating makes your heart rate higher. So that's why they say your resting heart rate is when you're truly just at rest. And the best time to measure your target heart rate, or the best time to measure your resting heart rate is right as you wake up in the morning. Okay, that gives you a good baseline. If you have a, a Fitbit or an Apple Watch, those will also measure your uh, heart rate while you're sleeping. So that's a really good way to know what your baseline resting heart rate is. Okay, target heart rate on the other hand is what you're aiming to get to when you're exercising, right? 
and the target heart rate is what's going to strengthen your heart and when you have a stronger heart your resting heart rate is lower okay so if you think about it when your heart is really strong it's going to pump blood to your body forcefully like you're this strong muscle your heart is pumping and it's pumping blood to your fingertips and down to your toes and it doesn't need to beat a whole lot because it's so strong it can pump a lot of blood at one time right when your heart's not quite as strong it's got to pump a lot it's moving 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 in order to get all of the blood pumped to your toes and to your fingertips um so because it doesn't it's not as forceful it's not producing as much with each pump so it's got to do more Okay, um, so you know that your heart is getting stronger when your resting heart rate is lower. Okay, your heart can always get stronger. Whether you have a resting heart rate of 60 or you have a resting heart rate of 90, your heart can still always get stronger. So doing more exercise in your target heart rate zone is going to make your heart stronger. Okay, the last definition, um, and these are, like I said, you've already written these down. I just want to explain them a little bit so that you understand um, a little bit more about them. Your recovery heart rate is how long it takes your heart to return to normal after exercise. So we did that with our cool down today. How long does it take? So she went from 160 to 135 to 132. Her heart rate continued to go down as she was exercising, right? The faster your heart rate returns to normal, the faster it gets back towards your resting heart rate, the stronger your heart is. So it's another good indication of, of having a strong heart and being fit and in shape, okay? So you should have written that down already, how long it takes your heart to return to normal after exercise, okay? Now, we are going to calculate our target heart rate. Okay, so you have a paper that looks just like this one. Your name should be at the top, so go ahead and type your name in here. Step one says take 220 and subtract your age. So 220 minus your age. I'm gonna pretend like I'm 11, and 220 minus 11 is 209, okay? If you're 12, that's not going to be the answer. If you're 12, your answer is going to be what? 208, because you're taking the number 220 and you're subtracting your age. If you're 11, the answer is 209, okay? This is considered your maximum heart rate. This is as high as your heart rate will go when you're exercising, okay? Now, to get into the vigorous zone of our target heart rate, that's between 70 and 85% of our maximum. Our maximum is 209. Okay, so to get to 70%, we need to take 209, and you guys can do this on your own, and you're going to multiply that by 0.70, or 70% of our maximum. That is 146.3, okay? So <clears throat> the low end of our vigorous zone is 146. Now we need to find what <clears throat> our answer from step one is our maximum heart rate which is 209 and we're going to multiply that by 0.85 because that's 85 percent of our maximum heart rate so we go back to our calculator and we take 209 and we multiply that by 0.85 and we come up with 177.65 so we're going to round that up to 177.8 or 178, I'm sorry. And so that is our vigorous zone, 146 to 178. So you're looking at your thing today, did you make it into, your, into the vigorous zone? That was our goal, was to try to get into our vigorous zone today. Now we're gonna figure out our moderate zone. Our moderate zone might be for things more like yoga or maybe even our weightlifting circuit, okay? So those are things that you are going to um, Oh, that will get you into your moderate zone, but still in our target heart rate zone, still improving our levels of fitness, right? So we've done this already, right? Our answer from step one times 0 0.70. So we already know this answer is 146 because we already calculated it. So now we need to find what is basically half or 50% of our maximum, okay? So if we don't know by just looking at it, we can multiply it to so 209 times 0.50 or 50%, which is half, 
And the answer is one, oh, you guys can't even see that, can you? I didn't have that over very far, 104.5. I'm sorry, that was not very good. I thought you guys could see that. Um, so that's, I was using the calculator to, um, just on my computer to figure that out. So you guys can see up here, we started off with 209, our answer from step one, times 0 0.70, and that equals 146.3. And I just rounded down to 146. So I did the same with this, 209 times 0.85, and that was my answer. Okay, so that was so that you can see that. Um, so this paper right here that you have, same as what I just showed you on the computer, you need to get your name on there. You need to calculate these out on your own, so figure it out for your age. Make sure that the warm-up questions are written down, you're answering your warm-up questions on the back of this piece of paper. This thing is our notes for today, and you're turning this in. Okay, when you're done, when you're done, you're gonna use these pieces of paper to take your quiz, and when you're done with your quiz, then turn these into the black box, okay? If you finish everything, then you can work on any missing assignments. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day and a great weekend, and I'll see you back here on Monday.